Hey, hey. Hello, Stephen. Oh, hello. Good morning, everybody. You just did the Chevy with the straw there. <laughs> hello, All hello. Right. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Um, guys, I'm going to let Betsy kick this off. Sure. If Betsy doesn't mind, only because I was well, so well, while uh, the elves were working while I was gone. So I came back and, and Betsy suggested a <laughs> Um, an even more refined format uh, to our meetings, which I love, love. Um, I don't know if we're, if, I think we're doing that today. So we're going to kick it off and we're going to give it a whirl and uh, okay. we'll just probably, well, this will be like our test run. Why don't we call it that? Okay, I, love <laughs> well, I just want to say welcome again to everybody. Um, we'll maybe give it a second. Uh, la um, last week's, today's text was from last week's meeting. So I think admins are going to send it out again. I don't want anyone to think it was a repeat. Uh, Wes and Katarina will not be stopping by um, again. But I hope those of you that attended last week got some value out of the, the switchboard um, nuggets from Wes and Katarina. Um, they're really killing it over on Marty Valor's team uh, with switchboard in particular. So um, without further ado, I guess I'll let you kick it off, Betsy, and I'll, and I'll follow along. All right. Awesome. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the New Bauer Roundup, the new and improved New Bauer Roundup. And so we That's are excited um, here today to kind of get started. And um, and so let's see, um, who's on? Kim, can you share? Um, if you'll plan to always just share the screen, that would be amazing. And, um, and then so kind of here's what our format is going to look like. We're going to go through leaderboards. Um, we're going to have some um, agent shout outs each week and then we'll have um, we're going to have our very own Jabin Frere who is actually a giant trained coach right here in our midst so he's going to be given um, some tips for giant which as you know is the coaching program that symmetry that quality as a whole uses so we really uh, we really are blessed to have him in here so he's going to be sharing with us uh, we have Rhea I don't know if she's on it um, yes, if you'll share your screen with the PowerPoint on that, that we, that we have there, Kim. Um, and so then Rhea is going to share with us a couple social media tips because we don't want to be secret agents. We want to be out there um, sharing things and letting people know what we can do. And then we're going to have a rotation of speakers. Um, today, I'm going to start us off um, with, uh, with the topic. And, um, but otherwise, Mark and I have got some um, exciting speakers lined up to come and pour into our team. And then we will, um, and then we'll always end with a nice challenge, okay? For everyone, kind of a call to action at the end of um, each week. <clears throat> now, it's not just gonna be Mark and I talking the whole time, which I'm sure you're all thrilled at. <laughs> um, but let's see, Angie is gonna be also sharing about different contests and promotions and updates there. And uh, the different leaders that we have are gonna be rotating, sharing the leaderboard and the agent updates. So if that's something where you're like, hey, I, I'd like to share on a call, I'd like to start practicing my public speaking more, um, then reach out to your upline and we can kind of give you some guidelines of what needs to happen in order for you to be able to, uh, to do that. So we want to use this as, you know, a good information call, but then also as a way to be building up uh, one another professionally, okay? All right, so let me, um, looks like here I hadn't shared all the access correctly, so my bad. Um, okay, so, all right, so we hadn't had all the, it's okay, like yeah. I said, this is going to be oh, wow. our, this is going to be our test week, okay, y'all, so bear with us as some of the things haven't been 100% done, but, you know, it, we're always open to suggestions and everything, so you'll kind of see our template or what we're going for, and then we can always um, adjust it from there. Okay, um, so since I went through this with the admins this morning, I'm going to go ahead and, and do the leaderboards because we don't actually have the actual information in here. We just have the template. So again, we're, we're a work in progress. Um, but this week for our leaderboards, our top APB count, um, top APB is with Marlene Corey. I believe she is a new writer, so congratulations to Marlene. Um, our very own Mark Neubauer is number two. Um, I don't remember the numbers, so yeah. 
And our very own Angie Arnett is number three. So congratulations to the top three APD writers. And apps, Mark has written two and then um, <clears throat> everyone else is tied at one. So we gotta get some, we gotta get some numbers up on the board here. And um, I don't have the, the numbers for the recruits. So, but we will, these are the ones that we're gonna include each week. We're gonna do it for from, um, we're gonna do it. Uh, if you are not muted, you will mute yourself. We've got a little bit of background noise going on. Um, and so we're gonna include these and this will be the numbers from last Saturday. Since it's almost the end of the week, it'll kind of be a, um, you know, an overview of where we are right now. And, um, and so kind of, hey, if you, if you want to finish off the week strong, what do you need to do um, to get to kind of give that final push there? All right. So agent shout out um, for this week. We don't we haven't had people send in agent shout outs. That's what we're going to do um, on the regular. But so let me just stop sharing for right now. Does anybody here have a shout out for someone else that they just want to kind of call it out? Let's edify each other. Um, and and raise each other up here in the, the new Bauer agency. Well, I'll kick it off with just so, so proud of this team. I mean, we'll get into numbers in a little bit here, but um, we are at a record base shop um, revenues, if you will, APV, um, record APV for the, for this month. Um, it's the most we've ever done as a as a base shop ever since Joe Martinez broke out on, on his own as an agency director. So I am just super, super proud of you guys. I'm super thrilled um, as your business partner to know that we are moving forward. Um, and I thank you guys for all the hard work that everybody's putting in, um, especially those of you that are leading from the front with consistency. Um, those of you that are doing it know it's no easy task to balance building with production, um, whether you're full-time, part-time, or overtime, um, but it's definitely worth, worth the effort. And uh, if, if you saw any of those, you know, builders huddles we had a couple weeks ago, um, just know building is, 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 um, is planting the seed, right? I love Jeff Miller says it. Producing is fishing and building is farming, right? When you're producing, you're just throwing that line out and, and the ones that still need the help are the ones you're going to help, right? But building is farming. You plant those seeds today and you're not going to see much for maybe even a couple months, right? Because of onboarding and some people are getting into licensing, things like that. So just keep your eye on the prize. Keep, you know, plowing that field, whatever it takes um, and, and watch those feathers start start coming out of the, the skin so we can all become eagles together. So thank you guys for that. I want to give a special shout out to, um, well, Angie. Angie reached out yesterday and came to the office uh, in person to get um, get a new look on life, I guess. Right, Angie? Get a new start with, with her calendar. Um, Eric Rush uh, with Marlene and Mike Corey. Um, they are two new agents to our team, lenders in uh, brother and sister team in California. Um, they, uh, they kicked it off with their, their first week. They came in licensed. They, they're already you know, writing IULs and policies for uh, families they're looking to help. So great job on that, Eric. I think you've got some, some real winners there. Um, David, Randy, Angie, Jay, Nate, um, ev ev you guys with the building is just just incredible. Um, and that's a testament to Level Up's recruiting system and also some of these free tools like LinkedIn free ads, right? Um, mm -hmm. I just, uh, I was inspired by David Roberts because I'm, I'm in the co-op. I thought, why not? Why am I not putting more free ads out on LinkedIn, right? Um, so I did. And sure enough, I've got an interview right after this. So um, awesome. thank you guys. Thank you for all the hard work and, uh, just keep plugging away. Any other leaders, please shout outs. You got anybody you want to edify, whether somebody passed a test on their way to a raise, anything. I want to take a moment and shout out Randy Johnson. I told him this personally through text the other day, but we had a guy who, uh, recruiting interview, he had me and I hired him. Then he had Randy and, you know, compared to, you know, the old IMR you used to be with, they would take that opportunity to just do overhanded, snatch away things. And Randy was like, hey, I'm talking to a guy who said he talked to you, you know, very transparent, very, very uh, straight to the point. And I was like, you know what? 
I appreciate that, my brother. I appreciate it. And, you know, the, 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 the film was very mutual. Uh, but it was just refreshing to see that level of honesty and integrity. And, uh, you know, salute to that. Because where I came from, you did not see that. <laughs> so shout out to Randy for that. I can shout out a bunch of other people. Jay, wizardry, he already knows what that means. But the way his mind <laughs> thinks and the things that he's able to implement, I don't know where I would be without Javen, to be honest with you. And, of course, I, my last one for the day, and I'll shut up, Bessie Barr. <laughs> Thank you for always coming through clutch, being able to make yourself available to hop on the Zoom with me and troubleshoot things, policies, clients, things like that. I definitely appreciate you taking out time out of your busy schedule to help me with those things. So, so it feels good to be a part of such a dynamic team. It's a unique situation to be in, but I love it. So that's it. Right. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Rhea. She found um, a guy that we had a lot of kind of questions. This he had a lot of questions anyway. <laughs> he had a whole lot of questions, and so she was kind of like, "I don't really know." Like I've answered all the questions, so we hopped on. She did a great transition of just saying, "Hey, let me, you know, let's point you to somebody that can maybe answer it a different way." And um, anyway, so now not only does he want a policy, but he's got a whole bunch of army buddies that he has like a big vision for. So she just was persistent. She didn't give up. She wasn't afraid to find the answers. And um, I think she's going to be reaping those benefits uh, for a very long time. So great job, Rhea. And then I also wanted to give out um, a shout out to Shane Wayland. Um, he, he's just come on, um, has brought some teammates over as well. And we've been trying to get things going, but he's always doing an amazing job of just reaching out, asking questions, figuring out how we can get to solutions very quickly. And, um, and yeah, I'm really excited for what he and his team are going to be doing. I certified one of his new agents yesterday for DFL. And I honestly could not believe that he was a new agent. I was like, no, <laughs> you had to have been doing this for a little bit longer because the, the confidence that he had was just really strong. So Shane, we're really excited that you're here. Yeah, th thanks for bringing him up. I was, uh, since he's not in here, I was debating on whether to do it or not. But yeah, I mean, he, he got his license, his life insurance license, maybe three weeks ago. And that, that's how, how awesome he is. So I'm very excited to see um, his future. Yeah, for sure. All right, any other shout outs? Uh, quick shout out to Jean Braun since she just popped in. Um, Gene signed up, took the leap, uh, along with Eric Rush to get into the Finney coaching sessions, uh, mm -hmm. through Symmetry and they're in their second week now. And Gene, uh, connected with, uh, with another party from, from that group and now has a dial, a dial team partner, um, from another agency that she'll be working with. So how, how do you like the coaching session so far, Gene? Um, it, it's going very well. Very well. Uh, I'm happy to like be doing activity. Thank you. That's great. That's great. Yeah, guys, remember, those are just, I, I don't think, you know, inside, outside, symmetry, quilty, whatever, you're not going to find more bang for your buck than, than some of the coaching and mentorship that symmetry offers uh, through these coaching programs. So if you find yourself um, in a place where you want more out of this, um, you want to be more, do more, have more, whatever the case is, serve more, uh, get into a coaching session. They've got them all the way up the ladder. So no matter what stage of business you're in, if you're just getting started and want that fire lit, or if you're in the mix, but want to give it that extra push, um, get it, get around some others, right. That are, that are doing it. And those coaching sessions are a great way to do it. It's right in the HQ, I think under resources, resources, uh, more resources. I don't think they have that section yet. Go into resources, and uh, I believe you'll find coaching right under there. All right. Awesome. There's all kinds of amazing things that we have got going on. So we will um, we'll move on from this. But, yeah, so what we want to do with this is during the week, if you've got somebody that you want to shout out, if you will send that, um, we'll – We'll give you an email address to send that to. It'll be here at the end, sfgagentsuccess at gmail.com. Um, we'll also give you a, a phone number that you can just text real quick. And if you've got somebody you want to shout out, um, just say, hey, I want to I want to give this person a shout out. And kind of just a brief description of what that is. And, um, and then that way we can um, 
be sure to do that. Just really have a good culture of edification here uh, within the agency. All right, well, I'm gonna pass it over to Angie. So Angie, if you're comfortable, just kind of reading this off. I know we're just kind of throwing you in the fray here, but I believe in you, girl. Awesome, I'll go for it. <laughs> um, okay, so the first um, contest, sorry, I don't even know what I was trying to say, um, but the one that's coming up next is what I was trying to say is the Temecula trip, which is, it has to do with the recruiting. Um, so it looks like our numbers are, Betsy is coming in first place, congratulations. Um, followed by Randy Johnson and then David Roberts. So good job there. Um, that is a leadership trip. Um, so if you do recruit 20 agents, um, by the end of September, you can qualify and get that invitation to Temecula and be involved in that um, goal setting and leadership meetings and things like that. So very exciting. Um, the next one is the cruise, which is going until the end of February. The minimum to require for that is um, 60000 and that's just the very basics. And then after that, to qualify for to upgrade it a room, like an ocean view is 80000 um, yeah. And then a ocean view with a balcony is 100000 Um, So we still have quite some time but still make sure that we aren't waiting until last minute. Although it, I know a lot of contests go until like the end of the year, but this one's going till the end of February. So take advantage of that, but get your momentum now. So you're not scrambling last minute to try to qualify for that 60,000 or any of those upgrades also. Um, I believe a lot of our agency, almost all of our agency is gonna be on this one. So super excited for that. Um, and then we have, with, oh, the com the commission promotions. Um, right now, we're still doing the slingshot. So that's another thing. I know after conference, they announced that they're extending it. But unless anyone else has other information, I don't think we have a date until when it's extended. So I would say just try your best to, and also motivate your new agents too to take advantage of this as much as possible because we don't know how long it's going to last. Um, and also, I mean, a 5% raise plus that 10% bonus is a big, a nice chunk of money, you know what I mean? Um, especially when a lot of our agents or our new hires are coming from all different backgrounds, you know what I mean? We don't know, maybe they don't have any income right now or they weren't getting the income they were wanting or hourly, things like that. So that is a good thing. I know um, when we talk about it or interview, we don't go over all details, but to touch base that the opportunities there right now is something nice, I think, to tell them as well. So keeping that in mind for that slingshot and taking advantage of it while we have that going on. Great job, Angie. Yeah, definitely. I think you're um, muted, Betsy. I was, I was giving you okay. all kinds of props. Give Angie, give Angie some props. She'll throw up a... a, a okay, that was my first time. I'm a little bit sweaty now. <laughs> you did awesome. Everybody throw up an emoji and they were, you know, give her some props for doing that. Yeah, you did an awesome great, job. Great job. Uh, question. So I'm just on the edge of my seat. Do we have numbers attached to these names? I want to know how close everybody is. We, I'm going to be honest, we do. Um, but we didn't get them put in on time. And I don't, re I, I looked at the numbers this morning and I, I don't remember them. I just remember the name. So we will okay. have numbers. <laughs> All I can say guys, these are fantastic opportunities for you to get around the fire. I can't tell you how much the trip last week. Um, if you heard me on Monday's call, the, the, the trip in, to Costa Rica, um, outside of giving me <laughs> bronchitis or whatever I have, um, was such a, a gift, such a blessing to um, to my business, to our business, to our agency, just being around those other leaders and getting advice and tips and um, associating with those six and seven figure earners um, in, a, in a different kind of setting. That's what you're going to be doing here. And, and the Temecula one is great because it is a retreat, right? Um, we're not just going to go there and tour the vineyard. Like we're going to do that. Yes, um, we're going to associate socially but this is a chance to really journal together, um, plan together, 
get around people like Jeff Miller and Kimberly Miller in a setting where you can talk about strategy and things like that. Um, you, it, you just get so, so much out of these things. So um, make it, make it worth your while, put those goals on, on paper and go for it. Sorry, I keep accidentally pressing <laughs> um, the, the button. All right. And so now I'm going to pass it over to uh, Jay. Jay, I'm going to let you um, take screen control and um, do your thing, my man. Let me Appreciate find it. All right. I don't even need screen control. I just, oh, I'll just tell you events. So we're good. Okay. Okay. Jay, All right. Jay. Hey, everybody. Can you hey, Jay, real, real quick, I'm so sorry. I, I, I just wanted to accent one more thing that was on that slide. You don't have to go back, but um, just know, guys, it's up to you to track your promotions, um, not not anybody else, right? So you don't, you, I mean, yeah, you can force gump your way into a promotion, and that's great. That will happen here and there, um, but you want to set a goal. You want to know when you hit that goal and you want to let your leader know that you hit that goal so that we can properly edify you and ensure that symmetry gets notified so that you get that promotion that month. Because if the promotion um, raises are different, but promotions specifically, if they are not announced in a timely manner, you may have to start that clock over. So do not miss um, letting people know when you've hit that. And best practice is just to let you know, let your leader know, hey, I'm hitting month one of this, or hey, I'm, I think I'm going to make my slingshot on this. And as Angie said, don't discount the power of slingshot. We never had that one when Steve and I started out. Um, when we started out, it was two months, two months, two months, three months, three months, right? So, um, and, and I can't tell you how many times you have a great one month, and then that second month you miss it, you have to start all over. So get those slingshots and just hammer in those first three raises um, as fast as you can. Thank you for that, Jay. No problem. Um, I, I love the segue of you can't Forrest Gump your way through. I mean, you can Forrest Gump your way through, but most, most of the things in life that you achieve is based on intentionality and based on the things that you do. So related to Giant, um, I don't know if y'all ever realized, but if you're not fam familiar with Giants of leadership, development, coaching, company that's partnered with Symmetry. I was actually certified as a coach about a year and some change ago. And so when I came to Symmetry just earlier this year, I was like, what, there's a partnership? I didn't even realize it. So sometimes your steps are ordered and you just end up in the right place. That small eye in Giant is intentional. It's a little thing that you may not see, but they believe that you are just, it's, it's intentional to keep a, a mindset of humility. You are just a small eye in the midst of a giant vision and a, a giant movement. That's how we are here at Symmetry. That's how you are when you're out in the field meeting with people and trying to help families and solve their issues and, and their problems. So I love everything that Giant has to offer. I'm just gonna go over something very quick with you and talk about the five voices assessment. Show of hands, who's heard of or taken the five voices assessment? Let me just see your hand real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this really high level as we're gonna be more like a teaser because I want you all to take the five voices so you understand your voice. But what is it? The five voices assessment is really a leadership style, uh, a leadership style type of assessment. There's a lot of assessments and things out there. I love them. My family does them, done, done them for a long time. What's special about this one is it speaks to your voice and what people hear when you communicate. Have you ever asked a question to yourself, what's it like being on the other side of me? That's what this assessment is basically designed to do. So you have five types of voices and there's a combination when you take the assessment, you'll come out a pioneer connector or a, a creative nurturer, it's different combinations and then there's a breakdown, it's all free. But just really quick, you can see as you look at that image there, you have a nurturer, creative guard, guardian, connector and pioneer. And you can see coming out of each one of them, there's a, there's a decibel level. So each voice not only speaks to how loud, like actual volume that person may typically communicate, but it also speaks to the force or the impact that that particular voice may have. And the reason why that's important, so two levels, team, we're all a team, we work with each other, we're starting to engage more and more and help each other develop and, and help our businesses grow. So how great is it if I can understand Nate's leadership style or how he communicates? 
or uh, Rhea, if she gets quiet, she's not shying back, but she's actually thinking and processing. Like when you get to know people's styles, you get to know and communicate better and that everything's much more effective. But on another front, as you meet with clients, every client we have has different personalities. And so if you start to be able to understand the different voices, it'll help you pick, on a, pick up on the different cues that clients are giving when you're meeting with them so that you're not misreading, but you're given the space to recognize, oh, you know what, I recognize this person as a connector, what they're doing. And so let me take this approach. So knowledge is power. And that's why we, that's why I want you all to, to understand what, what this is. So again, just voices, not in terms of volume, but also force. So just some action items. Visit giant.tv. If you haven't already, you can create a free account. That's where you'll see the five voices assessment. It takes maybe 20 minutes. It'll give you a printout and give you some videos. As you get who you are, it'll explain and break down those voices. So take the five voices assessment and discover your leadership voice. Like lean into it and really lean into it and really, really understand and personalize. Um, like internalize what it's telling you and ask others for feedback. Like, let's talk about it. So in the weeks to come, what I would like to do is more people start taking it and you start getting familiar, we'll start going through one at a time. And so, you know, any pioneers or connectors on the line, you have a dominant voice and you kind of have a, a secondary voice, but they all work together. And the other thing is everyone has a combination of these voices in some fashion. Some are just louder or, or stronger than others, but just because you're a pioneer doesn't mean you don't have a nurturing bone in your body. I mean, it shows up like that in my house sometimes. There's four women in my house, five in, if, including my wife. And sometimes as the pioneers, like I'm overpowering everybody, but they gang up on me and I say, you know, I know what y'all are doing. But anyway, I do have a nurturing bone in my body, just not dominant. So, and vice versa. If you're a, a nurturer, it doesn't mean you're not a leader or you can't lead. It just means your dominant nature is different. So that's the uh, giant moment of the day, five voices assessment. Go take it and we'll break it down with future sessions. Wow, awesome. that's great, Jay. I, I love the five voices, right? They, the, the, uh, the book, by the way, is incredible. I can't imagine it won't be a book of the month sometime soon, but no, that shouldn't stop you from getting it sooner if you're so compelled. Um, and I love how the book broke, broke it down, right? Like as, as you guys become leaders, you're going to want to learn. Uh, for one second, I thought that was a cigarette, Betsy. I'm like, what is she doing? <laughs> been a stress, stressful week. Randy, um, if I was drinking moonshine. Yep, cigarettes and moonshine. <laughs> hey, Tennessee, what can I say? <laughs> um, so the um, the book breaks it down really cool. He talks about the super friends, right, from, from the DC universe and how there's Batman and there's Aquaman and there's Wonder Woman, right? Well, if there's a building on fire, you're probably not going to send Aquaman to do the job, right? Uh, just the same, if there's a shark attack, um, probably not the right thing to send send Superman in to do. He could maybe handle it, but Aquaman could could probably um, make that happen a little more peacefully and and just just have the shark go in his own way, right? So the the point is just tagging on to what Jay's saying is, guys, if you don't know your voice um, first and foremost. Um, Self-awareness, I can't tell you how important self-awareness is. If you don't know your voice, you're, you're only a, allowing a, a, just a glimpse of your leadership to shine through, right? You, you are you. You're the only you. You're a unique you. But you do fit somewhere into this spectrum. And once you understand where in this spectrum your, your strengths are and your means of communication are, you're going to find your superpower, Right. And, and as you grow as a leader, when you're, when you're bringing on new agents, um, you're going to find that maybe you're talking to, uh, to a, a nurturer or guardian, right? Who maybe, like Jay says, isn't going to be so outspoken or um, bold with their words or this and that. Maybe they're a little more introspective. And, and you've got to understand that so that you know how to, to become a better leader for them and your team will, will essentially begin communicating better. So, um, Thank you, Jay. That's that's awesome. And I love that. I can't believe we have a certified giant coach on the team. Uh, this is pretty awesome that, that we get um, this kind of this kind of leadership in, in the meetings every week now. Thank you for that. All right. And next up, we have Ms. Raya. 
Israel, and she is going to share with us some an intro about what to expect during this time. And um, so, Raya, I'm just going to give you the floor. If you are not friends with Raya on Facebook, you're missing out. So just do that. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I couldn't figure out how to unmute my phone. <laughs> um, hey, team, I hope everybody is doing fantastic today. I'm kind of, I guess, honored that I would be asked to come and share with the team um, my knowledge about organic social media marketing. Um, so I guess in the coming weeks, what you guys can expect is just a few minutes of some sort of tip that you can begin implementing uh, to help you build credibility um, in your field, right, within your industry, um, to set you apart, uh, and also to attract clients to you organically. Um, and all that means is, you know, you're attracting folks to you without paying, paying for it, right? Um, now, that doesn't mean that you stop investing in your business, okay? Um, this is not meant to take away from investing in your business, um, running your marketing however you run it, or purchasing your leads. You absolutely want to continue doing that because that is the bread and butter of your business. Um, but this is just meant to be something that uh, can be an add-on. Um, organic marketing is not something that takes off right away. It's something that takes off with time and consistency. Um, but when you're consistent, it, it pays off. Uh, I think uh, in the last two months, and, you know, I just had a whole bunch of appointments off of a reel going viral, you know, so, uh, but it, it takes time and it takes consistency. So, um, but it's, it's pretty awesome, you know, to have people reach out to you at some point and say, hey, that was a really valuable post, or that was a really valuable video, or whatever it is that you shared, um, or people just come to your, uh, to your Facebook profile, right, because you're in a group, and you're adding value in the group, you're just commenting and adding value, and people see what you're about and what you do and how you serve and they reach out to you and say hey I see you do life insurance or I see you help people with cash value life insurance I've been needing someone to help me with that but I can't find anybody right so these are the kinds of things that can happen for you when you're actively engaging on social media and when you're intentional about your engagement on social media so I look forward to sharing some tips with you guys for those of you who want to implement this and see how it could it could add to your business. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rhea. Um, and again, please do follow her um, on social media. Um, Rhea, if you've, if you've got your link to your Facebook page, if you want to post that in the chat. Um, and like, like Rhea said, this is in no means a replacement to getting leads and, you know, doing what we always do. Um, I know I post on, I've been posting on social media a lot. Um, I think the, it took me like over a year um, uh, over a year, maybe a year and a half before I actually wrote a policy off of it. So it's not like, oh my word, I can do this and, and it'll be amazing. It will be amazing, but you, you got to start it at some time. You start small, you focus on the main things of your business and just make sure you're not a secret agent. And, um, I just, and so, yeah. I, yeah. And I just wanted to say, um, somebody might ask, well, what's the point then if it, it may not attract you know, uh, prospects to you right away. The point is establishing yourself as an authority in your industry, right? You want people to be able to look at you. Um, you want to establish that credibility, right? So when you have, when, when you take time to consistently just add value to people, after a while, they start to see, huh, they may not say anything right away, but I promise you, I promise you they're watching and they're paying attention. Um, and when you have something of value to send people to, like, check out my mortgage protection video, check out my DFL video. And they see it and they're like, oh, okay, wow, yeah, can we talk? So that's really what it's all about. It's all about owning your business and showing up in a, in a, in a unique way and establishing yourself as the authority figure in what it is that you do. Yep, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Raya. So she's gonna give some great tips and, um, and I'm excited um, for us all to learn and grow from her. I know I've been, she's challenged me in, uh, in my social media stuff. So she's helped me level it up. So um, thank you for that. All right. Well, so now we're going to. Please put in the, in the chat, Rhea, because I couldn't find you. 
I found a profile, but it can't, I know it's not the right one. So if you would, much appreciated. Okay. And then David, right. uh, David had a question as well, just so you know. Oh yeah, go for it, David. Oh, I put it in the chat, but I'll ask it out loud to uh, Rhea. Which platform are you most utilizing? Is it Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or are you doing them all cohesively and simultaneously? Hey, that's a really good question. So for me personally, I focus primarily on Facebook. Um, I've had a lot of success on Facebook, uh, but that doesn't mean that um, it can't be leveraged on other platforms. It's just Facebook is my personal preference. Um, I utilize Instagram stories a lot, which is also connected to my Facebook stories. Mm -hmm. um, so if anyone follows me on Instagram, they'll see that. But uh, a lot of the folks that are following me or connected with me on Facebook can also see my stories as well. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. All right. So um, we're going to move now into the speaker part of our um, of our call, and we are going to have a rotation of speakers. Um, but today I wanted to get us started. Um, we're I know this kind of seems uh, redundant. <laughs> Um, we're going to talk about conference calls because we do have a lot of conference calls. I don't know if you may have noticed that, um, but we have a lot of conference calls here at Symmetry. And so I wanted to kind of go through and um, and kind of highlight the ones that are the most important. And then also with, uh, especially within here, within the Neubauer Agency or SFG Agent Success, especially for those of you that are recruiting, um, what are the, what is the purpose of each call? So that as agents ask you, um, you know, we all have that same vocabulary. We all have that same purpose and vision and what these calls are. So these right here are the national conference calls. All right. And um, and Mark and I were speaking earlier. And, and here's kind of what we, we came to. If you are a full-time agent with Symmetry, these calls right here should be non-negotiable. All right. This is, this is where we come together as an entire company um, each week. These are really important for everybody to be on if you're a full-time agent. Now, if you're part-time, we understand that, you know, you may have job commitments outside of this that prevents you from being here. Um, but I remember a couple of months ago, I, I started realizing, hey, I'm not really on all the huddles. Uh, you know, sometimes I'd make it, sometimes I wouldn't be there. I didn't make it a priority. And um, and I kind of realized, you know what, if I'm if I'm a leader here in this in this company and in the cook group, and I'm a full-time agent, I gotta be on these huddles. And so I just, I marked it in my calendar and I said, this is a non-negotiable. Um, and and so now I'm on the huddles and I don't I don't miss the huddles. I actually did this morning, I had a little bit of a migraine, so that was unfortunate, but um, I'm usually on the huddles, even if I have to, um, you know, shut off my, shut off my video, but I wanna be there, I wanna be engaged. Um, so these are the ones that you want to be on each and every week, the cook, call on Monday, um, the national call on Wednesday, um, our huddles. And so, so again, there, yeah, it's three times a week. It's only 30 minutes, um, but it's just a great sense of like building that community, uh, learning from some of the top leaders in the country, in, in our, in our agency. And then of course, here I'm preaching to the choir, the new Bauer Roundup. We're really getting focused with these times. We're going to bring in speakers that can add a whole lot of value to our business. Um, you're seeing kind of our, our initial go through of our, um, of our agenda. And so do please, these are the national calls, put them down, mark them down. If you're a full-time agent, make these non-negotiable. All right, next we have the SFG Agent Success Conference Call. So let me back up just a moment. You might be saying, you know, why do we call it SFG Agent Success? And so this kind of comes back to when, um, when Mark and I kind of, was it back in April, Mark? Um, I went to a recruiting workshop that um, Scott Forehand put on. And so Mark and I started talking and we we're like, you know what, why are we, why are we working separately? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to accomplish a whole lot more if we do this together. And, um, and at that point, I had some of my agents that were also starting to recruit and wanting to build and, um, and just realizing that if any of you have ever built, give me a thumbs up or raise your hand or something. It's kind of hard. Anybody ever noticed that? <laughs> it's kind of hard. There's a lot of things that you've got to do. You got to 
figure out where, you know, first of all, just getting somebody through the application process can be mind numbing in and of itself, you know, with all the different forms and documents and all that. And then getting them started, like all of that recruiting is a beast in and of itself. So what Mark and I wanted to do was create, create something to where and uh, that would not only streamline the process for us, but also for any of our agents that wanted to recruit. And so that as we, as people came on, like we just have a system in place ready for agents to be successful. So that's where the name SFG Agent Success comes from. And so the purpose of the calls and the orientations and all that we put together was for you as the agent, no matter who you are, if you're brand new, if you are super busy in the field, you're going for your promotions, that we've got a system that makes recruiting as streamlined as possible and allows you to keep the focus on the most important things, production and interviewing. So with these calls, let me kind of break down what that process looks like for um, for you. All right. So this mainly is for um, for builders to understand what that recruiting process is. And then also this is for um, agents who if you're still really trying to kickstart your business and get to where you want to go, which probably is most of us on this call. Um, these are the, the ones that I want you to focus on. So we have the fire starter. All right, the fire starter is on Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern, and this is for anybody new that you have hired. All right, so if you hire someone during the week and they're like, what do I do next? You know, they're going to have a ton of questions. Where should I go? What should I log into? How, what, what should I do now? To, question, question, question. So the only thing you need to worry about doing is saying, hey, here's this application that you need to fill out and you need to come to the fire starter on Friday. All right. And so it simplifies that initial hiring process down to two things. Fill out the application. If they're not licensed, get into licensing and come to the fire starter. And so at the fire starter, what we're doing is giving that information of what are your next steps. And so we're, we're doing that kind of as a whole. So everyone's hearing together. We're building that sense of community um, from the get go. And we're just making that process streamlined. So you're not spending an hour and a half with a new recruit walking through each and every step. But you're saying, OK, most important thing, get your application in, come to fire starter. So it just simplifies it. It streamlines it. And then we're ready to go. All right, then we have the Ignite call. Now, this is the one where we were doing pretty great with the Firestarter. Like, we kind of got that dialed in. We were feeling good. And then we realized, what do we do with everyone once they come in? <laughs> and so we've had a couple of, we've had a couple of conversations of, whoo, um, oh my goodness, we got we to gotta figure out how to get new people that are in turned into writers okay and so we've got a whole lot of you know we've tried some different things um nate and randy were going to be our sna mentors and then we realized and this is a great problem um they can't meet with like 50 new people every week because they got to run their own business <laughs> and so it was like hey what can we do, do again instead of meeting one-on-one -on -one, um, how can we do meetings with groups of people at a time? I remember that was something Chris taught me. Um, and, and so again, we want to be as efficient with our time as possible. And so no matter who you're bringing on or if they're bringing on someone, we've got this process for them. So the Ignite call, what is that going to be? If you have not gotten to the point where you're an SNA, okay? So a new person, until they become an SNA, or if you are not at the point where you've written, you know, six apps or or you kind of had a lag and you're like I'm, I'm not really sure what to do next how can I boost up my business you want to be at the ignite call on Mondays at 8 p.m eastern so let me tell you what we're going to do with these ignite calls so um, Nate Brown is going to be um, hosting this call and uh, and Nate is an amazing mentor all right I don't know if you've ever spoken with Nate but I get so much feedback from any of my new agents that have spoken with Nate just saying, wow, I, I learned so much from him. Oh, wow, he really showed me how to nuance this or uh, really, really pushed me to practice this script. And so um, Nate is going to be leading our Ignite call. And what we're doing on this call is three things. Okay, we're practicing dialing. Okay, practicing the scripts, getting into the, the best script. Um, then we're practicing the real script. So, you know, what are the biggest things that, that get people tripped up? 
what do I do next? Like, oh, oh, so I, I got to actually like pick up the phone. What do I say? What do I do? So this is the place where we come and we practice it together. Now we have dial sessions where you get, you know, you're going to pick up the phone and do that dialing, but the Ignite call is there for you to come and you to practice. And you say, okay, well, I got an appointment. What do I do in that appointment? Well, we're going to run through the, mo the, the best, the, the real script in there running through those appointments. Okay. And then the other thing with Ignite, you can't make dials. You can't run appointments unless you've got leads. And so in that Ignite call, if you haven't bought leads and you're not really sure what to do, we're going to make sure that you've got your leads. Okay. So this Ignite call is really where we're going to come together and we're going to make sure that ooh, we're igniting that production for you um, so that you can take your business to the next level. So <clears throat> Firestarter is for new agents that have just been hired. And then the Ignite call is for any agent that's been hired up to the point that they become an SNA. All right. So we want to start producing SNAs. Just like Jamie Susie is known as a SNA machine, we want that to be known here in our agency. Okay. So until we until somebody is an SNA, you tell them block off Mondays at 8 p.m. And, and that's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to make sure that you're dialing, check, check in on those. How does it sound? What does it sound like? Um, you know, if you haven't done dials and, and you're ready and you just need a, a time to do that, we can also put you in a separate room and do that. We just want to help you get to where you need to be. All right, give me a thumbs up. Does that make sense? All right, so somebody answer me. What do, who is the fire starter for? New agent. Fire starters for new agents. 10 points to Angie. I don't know what the points are, but there we go. <laughs> um, and then what is the Ignite call for? Agents that are not yet SNAs. Anybody who hasn't written six applications. Boom. Exactly, David. Now, if someone else wants to hop onto Ignite, are they? Are we going to push them out? Yeah, they're not welcome. No, they are not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sit with us. <laughs> yeah. so if you've got if you've got agents that are like they're struggling a little bit um you know this is the place for them to go okay now obviously you guys please continue to meet with your new agents you know this is not meant to take the place of you having personal interaction with your team but this is just a way for for you to say hey i know as a part of you know this sfg agent success um, we're, my, my team is going to have that support. And again, the reason we named it SFG agent success, well, of course, because we want everyone to be successful, but we don't want it to be just the new Bauer agency, the bar agency, the fair agency, the dominance financial, the Wayland agency, all these different agencies that are popping up, Roberts, Johnson, et cetera, et cetera, Arnett agency. So no matter who it is, it's SFG agent success. So that, that way it always works no matter what your agency is called, no matter who's being built up um, here within our group as a whole. Um, so it's just kind of one name and it, and it works for everyone. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, then some other calls that we have for um, SFG agents that are success that are coming through. We have the production training, which is in 10 minutes. So I better move, move along quickly. Um, and so that is, if you're in an appointment and you've gotten to the place where they're ready to write an app, um, how do you know what to choose? How do you know which pro how do you know which product to do? Um, so this is with um, Smoke and Joe Martinez. I think he needs no introduction. So you can hop in there with him and that um, can give you and your agents an idea of how to move forward with production. And then dial sessions. Um, I know I know band dings a lot. The notifications drive me insane. I have a little bit of OCD and it's like, oh, there's a notification. Um, but this is where you'll get notified of different dial sessions that are going on throughout the week. Um, there's always one on Saturday at 1130 Eastern. Um, so if nothing else, uh, be a part of that, but also be on the lookout for different dial sessions. I think Jordan also has some that are posted um, in, in band. So just be on the lookout for those dial sessions. So again, these are all calls that for recruiting for new agents, you want to put these. These are very important to help kickstart and move forward your business. All right. So yes, it's more calls, but they're very purposeful. They're very meaningful. And so it's, it's important to kind of take that business to the next level. All right. And then um, real quick, this is for the advanced markets calls. Um, so this is if you are a part of, of 
my team and you're doing debt-free life or you're doing college planning, um, the Quility ones, Quility Advanced Markets, right now they're doing a lot to talk about FIF resets. And I've discussed that some on the cook calls. Um, if you're doing debt-free life and you need some additional support um, beyond what we have it within the agency, Quility has calls on Friday at 3 Eastern. Um, advanced market workshops, we're talking about all things DFL, IUL, um, retirement, single premium, whole life, um, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And then our college planning, um, for those of you that are that are focusing on uh, college planning specifically, that's just basically just IULs and a way to get into advanced markets, um, just using college planning as a way to get there. Um, so we have a workshop on Mondays at 1.30 and every Tuesday at eight o'clock, and we want to really start promoting this more. Uh, we will have a college planning webinar that's client facing, um, and that's something we'll start sharing flyers and all of that so that you can um, be inviting your clients to that if they have children and they're looking, um, you know, to protect their college um, funding options. And of course, anyone that you send there and we end up writing, you will also get commission from that. So win-win all around. David, yes, that was my next thing. So all of the Zoom links are on the Agent Success website. Just go under Symmetry and then click on Conference Calls. Um, I've made sure all of the links are up to date, all right, and, um, and so you can access them directly there. We do send out text messages um, before these calls, um, and, uh, and so anyway, so that's kind of all of our calls. <laughs> Again, I know it's a lot, um, but these are, are, they're important to just keep your business moving forward. I know that if there's times when I'm like, oh, I just don't have time for it, I'm going to skip it. I find that I miss it. My business lags a little bit because I don't have that community of encouragement and I haven't learned the next step so that I can push forward in my business. So please do make these a priority. All right, we have seven minutes left. This is our very first uh, overview. Do we have any questions about the conference calls or any comments about those um, before question. Mark is our final challenge? Yes. Question. Um, so for the cook calls, I see that they're recorded, but I never know if they're stored anywhere or accessible. Are the huddles and or the weekly agent calls that he has stored somewhere we can get to them? Um, so let's see. With The huddles are not uh, recorded. They're either be there or, or they're not. Um, mm -hmm. The cook calls, he posts those recordings on band. Um, and then the roundup, we will... Um, we're talking about getting a, a Google Drive for our for our SFG agent success, and we'll post these recordings uh, links to those in there. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, awesome. All right, no Mark. Question. Yes. Oh, I was just gonna say no question, but awesome job to you guys and admin and everyone who did this live show. I think it has a very good flow and very like structured. And I think it's going to make our calls, like take it to the next level. Awesome. Like Thank it. you. Good job, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andy. And I said, Andy, Angie, I can't talk today either. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. It. Let's see. Mark, if you'll finish us off. And yeah. New, we'll um, new format guys. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, everybody did a fantastic job. All I can say, uh, or all I'd like to say, you know, before we go is, is first of all, thank you so much for everybody. Um, by being on this call, you're honoring your business in a big way. And, and as Betsy said, I'm really just echoing what Betsy said. I hope you guys understand how correlative attendance in these calls will be to your overall success here at Symmetry. And those that don't get that just won't get it. Um, I've, I've seen it all in the, in the last six years. And I promise you, these are those Karate Kid ingredients that maybe don't seem like they have to do with the bottom line, but they have everything to do with the bottom line. So if you are full-time, there is zero reason as to why you wouldn't be attending these, right? Save a, an, an, a dentist appointment here and there, whatever um, take, takes precedence. Um, so... <laughs> Please, please be cognizant of that. Also, I'm not judging. I'm not criticizing on this call in particular. But when you can, um, and it, that should be most of the time, right? If, if you're being intentional about your schedule and your work, have your cameras on, guys. And again, I'm not, I, I know some, a lot of you don't have your cameras on now. I'm not assigning judgment. But I am saying um, on those huddles, it's really disappointing to me to see so, uh, disappointing is too strong a word, but 
I would much rather see everybody's faces on those because I can't tell you the work that, you know, we leaders put into those huddles. Je Jeff's was amazing today. If you guys missed it, I'm sorry. Um, there is no recording, but it was phenomenal. And maybe I'll, I'll cover some of that um, next week if we have time. But he really just broke down exactly how much investment you need to be making, how many leads you need to be ordering, and how many dials you need to be making in order to set the, that magic 17 appointments a week. If you're full time and you're not setting, you know, 17 appointments a week, you're not there yet. You're not doing, you're not doing the work. Um, and I say that with love, but you're not doing the work. So know that there is a system. And if the system is followed, you will succeed in a very big way here. I'm talking six, seven figure earner within three to five years here at Symmetry. If you don't follow the system, if you choose to reinvent the wheel, if you choose to uh, maybe do a little less than the system asked for, results will vary. Don't be surprised by that, right? Um, if you're ever stuck, if you're ever confused, if you ever have a question, you know, if you if if you're like, no, I wasn't on the huddle, I couldn't get in. Well, maybe it was the wrong link. Did you text your upline? Did you go to band and see if the link is there? Right? Please be proactive. We are a family, we are a team, but your business is your business. And we don't need, know if you need help until and unless you ask. Okay. Um and then, you know, last thing I want to say is, I mean, super proud. Again, we've got record activity from agents this month, record income from agents this month, and we're just getting started. I say that because we're, we're, we're on our way to reaching the metrics, right? So it's just going to blow me away when, you know, those of us that are, are serious about, you know, building a business and working here full time are working those metrics to the T. Wow the way that your business is going to flourish. So that said, schedule everything, schedule everything. Okay. Um, including this, right? The, the challenge, put the calls on your calendar, everything Betsy just talked about, make sure they're on your calendar with reminders. They're right there at SFG agent success. It'll take you five minutes to put those in as recurring events. And then the rest is up to you. Design your day. Do you have enough hours booked? based on the lead types that you're, that you're investing in. And guys, if this is like, whoa, slow down, then talk to your upline. Very important that you get this. Um, if you've got the right amount of inventory, make sure that you've got the right amount of hours scheduled in your calendar, not just, oh, it's two o'clock. I feel like dialing. No. Oh, it's two o'clock. It says dial time on my calendar. I'm picking up that phone, right? Because with the B3 leads, the bonus leads, anything, you know, B2, B3, B4, B5, you're talking 1,000 to 1,500 dials a week. That's a lot of dialing. To get those 17 appointments, which will result in 12 to 15 SAT appointments, which will result in um, probably anywhere from four to six applications a week. That's what we should be doing as, as full-timers. So schedule, 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 and honor that schedule. And pro tip from Elijah Carujo, um, for those that are like, oh my gosh, all these calls and, and the dials and this and that. Well, welcome to the business world, right? But pro tip from Elijah, book your free time first, right? Put that bubble bath on the calendar first. Put a uh, date, you know, date lunch with spouse on that calendar first. And then, and then you can work your business around that so that you know you've got that me time. Go ahead and schedule that massage for Thursday at four o'clock. And then book your dials and drive time around that. And don't forget drive time if you are doing stuff like that, guys. Real important. Um, you, you can't have a dial session from three to four and your massage starts at four. And where, where are you teleporting? So uh, make sure that you've got that room in there too. And please, my call to action before you guys hop on that production call right now is have, make this the biggest week you ever have. I want you to get more leads than you've ever gotten. I want you to make more dials than you've ever, ever done before and sit on more appointments than, than you've ever sat on before. Um, and, and let's see what that results in for next week's numbers. Thank you guys so, so much. Hop on that production call. And Betsy and admins, thank you for the great format. Take care, Thanks you guys. Everyone. Bye.